Sir Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Oshai, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Oshai, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Oshai. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams and the folk of the earth to put in sincerity in truth. Shalom. This evening, I want to come to, the next come to the next lesson to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, which is Yusoka, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian, who's, which is the 144,000 and the one third men and children and the confusion of faces that scatter in the folk and the earth right i just want to show that the estate our people in you know our people in total darkness because they don't walk in the last time some comment to you about to the best ability they reject it so they're in total darkness right and showing that a father and a son fighting they got his son the father when i when I watch the video the the, the the friends that the father was saying yo your father telling you the right thing you know, but his father failed to raise to, to do the right thing to raise his son up in the right way. Right? And this son, this son is a this is a stubborn and disobedient child. Right? You got in no way you know how you're supposed to fight against your father. This is an evil act. And in the ancient time, this young man would be put stoned to death by the men of, by the men of the city, of his of, of his city. That 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 they should put evil away from among you. Right? So just want to touch on a couple of precepts to edify the church, you know. Right now, right, right now, Satan, right, right now, real play again because I'm trying to do the video and sticking and cutting off the phone, you know. So I gotta run the video, you know. The video just had a, a minute and I think a minute and three to uh, four seconds, something like that, right? But let me just get it, get, get going to the precept, you know, to edify the church because the most I give you our last statutes and commandment, right? To our, to our food, to our food parents that we should teach to our, to today, to today, to today, to children right so this is the thing that this is the thing that we got to do right we got to teach them the right way how they should grow right the scripture says train up a child in the way that he should go and when he's young he shall not depart from it um right this is um this is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgment, even as the Lord uh, my power commanded me, that he should do so in the land, whether he whether he go to possess it. So this is the this is in the, uh, the islands of Trinidad and Tobago. I, I don't exactly know what area is it, but it, it to me it looked like Lavantil, uh Bitum, or one of those um uh Mova, right? So I just assuming by the the, the environment right no offense to no one you know what i mean um um so the most i said the most he said he taught us he taught us statues and judgment which is the last statues and commandment are we supposed to walk in the sight of him this was given to you so can negroes like the native american indian right he said keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation, in the sight of these other nations, like the Chinese, the, the Assyrians, the so-called white man, the Arabs, the East Indians, the Africans. You so-called Negroes, Latin Native American, they are not Africans, you are Israelite. There is a nationality. He Prince of God, right? Yasharala, right? He said, which shall hear all these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is is there so great who had who had Yahweh so nigh unto them as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that had statues and judgment so righteous as all this law which I said before you this day? Right? So the law statutes and commandment that, that the Lord gave to us is righteous. Right? If this young if this Go, right? uh, if this man was walking in the law, starting to comment to Yahweh, his best ability, his son going to be fighting him. Right? The guy from, from he would have disciplined from, from his youth coming up. When he was a child, he would have chastened him, he would have correct him. The guy is a monster right now. The young man is a monster. Right? Um, uh, verse, um, verse 9. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, 
lest thou forget the things which thine eye have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. May your heart your mind say, depart from our people's mind. Two thirds of our people are still in gross darkness. Right? He said, He said, But teach them, teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. So he's supposed to teach these laws, statutes, and commandments to thy sons and thy sons' sons. Right? This is Joel chapter 1, verse 2. Hear this, ye old men, and give and give ears all ye inhabitants of the land. Had he said, Had this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers? So this did happen in our in our fathers' days, in and right, our fourth father days, because the scripture say, Yo, a stubborn son they bring out they bring you out to the city, right? Because he don't want to hear his father more, they bring you to the city, and the people of that city stole him to death. That thou may put away evil from among you. This is an evil act. Disobeying your parents is an evil act. Wanna fight your parents is an evil act. Right? And there's and there's a sin to that sin to death. Right? He said, Tell he your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children another generation. So that's all we're supposed to do. We're supposed to teach them how to how to walk and fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And to honor the honor under the father and the mother, right? This is our job as parents, right? This is how we supposed to be, right? This is um, this is Proverbs twenty two and six. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So this father didn't. This father don't love his child because he's supposed to train up a child in the way that he should go, right? He's supposed to tell your children, children, children. And they can tell their generation, right? So you you don't love you don't love your child, right? And this young man is supposed to be honoring his mother and father, right? You know this 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 man don't love his child because he didn't train up this child in the way that he should go, right? Um, he hate him, right? And this is what the scripture say. This is um. Proverbs chapter thirteen verse twenty four. He said, "He that spirit is rad, hated his son." So this man's spirit is rad. Right? His spirit is rad. Right? He said, but he that loveth him, chasten it um, be time. Be time. Right? So he that love his son, gonna correct him. He gonna correct him. Right? He that love it, he that love his son gonna correct him. This is Proverbs 23 and 13. Withhold not correction from the child. Don't withhold correction from him. For if thou beatest him. With the rod, he shall not die. So don't withhold correction from your child. Straighten them. When my grandmother's uh, old, older folks, right? Is I would say you cannot bend a tree when it's old. You gotta bend the tree when it's young. How you want it to go? If you want, if you want it, it lean to this way. You bend it this way. You want it go straight up? You keep it straight up. Probably to go straight up. However you want the child to go, you train the child the way that should go. Right, verse 14 Thou shalt beat him with the rod and shalt deliver his soul from hell. Thou shalt beat him with the rod and deliver his soul from hell. Why you think you, your, 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 your children being robbers, murderers, and then the police killing them in the street? Because you didn't deliver, you didn't, you didn't chasten them when they was a child, right? And you didn't, you didn't deliver the soul from hell. So the system now, the system gonna gun them down, gonna put bullet in them, and they're gonna put them in prison. Right, this is system gonna do. Right, so you, you can't withhold correction from your child, but this devil got a lot to pay for because this devil, this devil, right, right, unrighteous decree saying that you're not supposed to beat your child, if you beat your child is a crime and he's gonna jail you. Right, this is why you devils got a lot to pay for. Right, um, so I'm going to the law as I was I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm going to the law and show you how, how our fourth father used to do it with a stubborn child. This young man is a sin to death. He's supposed to be stoned. Stoned to death. Right? But now, now the most has shown us mercy. The most I have we are now grace period. Which is, which is a time to get yourself right. And when you go into the word grace, it go back to the word cherish. Which means favor. How are you going to find favor in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? You got to keep his last days to your best ability. Which is the last statutes of commandment. To your best ability. Right? This is a... Uh, Deuteronomy 21 and, and, and um, 
18 if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son so this man have a stubborn and rebellious son right i'm gonna play the video just now you know so you can see you know right if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother and that when they have chastened him will not hearken unto him so when they correct him or they beat him and he not, he's still not hearing unto them right verse 19 then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him lay hold on him take him right catch him right and bring him unto the elders of the city so bring him to the elders of the city right and unto the and unto the gate of his of his place and they shall say unto unto the elders of this of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is glutton and a drunkard. See, he, he, he says rebellious. He don't he not he not doing what, nothing with a say. Right? He totally out of order. Verse 21. And the and the men of the city shall stone him with stone that he die, so that thou put a Put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. So there's an evil act to disobey your parents, to fight against your parents. There's an evil act. So this, this, this young man is supposed to be stoned to death according to the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But now we're in the time of the Most High Mercy. You gotta repent. You know, you you young men out there, you know, who being disrespectful to your parents, humble yourself. Honor your parents. This this is the way you pay this is the way this is the way you pay them back by honoring them. Right? Because you can't repay them for nothing to do for you. Right? So you gotta honor them with respect. Right? Reverence them with respect. Right? This is um Um Ecclesiastes chapter seven. Right, this is the book of the book of the uh, the apocrypha. Right? And this is Ecclesiasticus. Right, chapter seven, verse tw um, twenty-seven. It said, "Honor thy father with with thy whole heart, with thy whole mind." Right, and forget not the sorrow of thy mother. Remember that that thou was begotten of them, and how canest thou recompense them for the things that they have done for thee? So, it, what you gotta do is honor them because you can't you can't repay them for the things that they done for you. So, we gotta do is honor them. Honor, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God gave unto thee. Right? You gotta honor them. This is how this 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 is the only way you can recompense them by honoring them, by respecting them. You know, if your father or your mother going off, you can correct them through the scriptures. That's not going off. But do it in a respectable way. Right? Do it in a respectable way. But it, it, it doesn't matter how, how old you is. You know you're on your own you're doing your own thing you still gotta honor your father and your mother right still gotta do it right so this 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 is a stubborn and rebellious child right stubborn and rebellious child right um let me get a scene um right back in the apocrypha ecclesiastes chapter 30 verse 1 he said he that loved his son cause it him often to feel the rod so he that loveth his son cause him often to feel the rod that he may have joy of him in the end so this man wasn't causing his son often to feel the rod so right now you don't have no joy of him it's a pure sorrow right and distress heaviness of heart right verse 2 he that chasten his son shall have joy in the, in him and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance so he that chasten his son will have joy in him right and rejoice among his acquaintance right verse 3 he that teaches his son grieve the enemy so when you teach your son you grieve the enemy because the enemy can't run the mouth or oh, watch his son his son is a monster he's a killer he's a thief you know what she you know he's a menace of society you know you grieve you teach your son you grieve your enemy you have nothing bad to say about your son or uh, about you about your character about your morals right um he said he that teaches his son grieve the enemy and before his friend he shall rejoice of him and this man is rejoicing before his friend 
the guy friend had to come they had to come and break up the fight right and i was rebuking the young man there's your father we send his right right um verse four though his father died yet he yet he is as though he were not dead that's why it's this why scripture said train up and challenge the way that he should go so when he meet of that age he's not gonna depart from it so the scripture said though his father died yet he is as though he were not dead because he continued to walk in the ordinance of his father continue to be a respectful young man right he said for he had left one behind him that is like himself yeah he walking in, he walk in, the, in the in the way of his father right upright and that's how the lord want me to walk upright is why he give you these last statues of command to walk upright right um verse five he said why he left it he saw and re and rejoiced in him and when he died he was not sorrowful so this 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 man are rejoicing because his son is stubborn and rebellious because he, he didn't did a good job of raising his son in the last thousand comment of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that he have the fear for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai because in the ancient time this young man would be stoned to death right um, verse, um, verse 6 he said he left behind him an avenger against his enemy and one that shall require kindness of his friend yeah because he can walk just like his father and the enemy that got nothing to say again <laughs> you understand um, verse 7 he that make it he that make it too much of his son shall bind up his womb you cannot spare these little monsters you gotta put them in a place right he cannot spare them right he said and his bowel will will be troubled at every cry so you can't be you can't be sorry for when he cried the scripture say yo don't let your soul spare for his crying right let me get that this is um proverbs um proverbs 19 and 18 chasten thy son while there is hope and let not thy soul spare for his crying so don't let your bowel, don't let your bowel, let me read back again, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 30, um, verse, um, verse 7, He that make it too much of his son shall bind up his womb, and his bowel will be troubled at every cry. So the Moses says, spare not, spare not his soul for his crying. You know, don't spare him, chasten him, right? Um, verse 8, And horse not broken, become it headstrong a horse not tame you can't control a horse you try to ride him he just you can't control him because you didn't tame it you didn't train it out to be tame right he said and a child left to himself will be willful a child that left to himself will be willful is what willful go back to will be stubborn and this child was left left himself right he feel is he feel he feel that nobody can tell him what to do Right, so this is a stubborn child. Right? He said, Cocker thy son, Salaki, cocker thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Yet yeah, when you pamper them, you be soft among them, they're gonna make you afraid. His son don't afraid him. His son had him in a in a headlock. They may have to come and break up break break it up. We gonna, I'm gonna play the video just now. Right? He said, play with him and he will bring bring thee to heaviness. Yes, sorrow heaviness sorrow distress and that's what this man going through right now with his son right he said laugh not with him lest thou have sorrow with him right don't laugh with him when he slip correct him correct him when he slip right lest thou he said unless thou gash thy teeth at the in the end right music back again he said laugh not with him lest thou have sorrow with him unless thou gash thy teeth in the end give him no liberty in his youth and wink not at his folly so don't give him no liberty in his youth and don't and don't wink at his folly you understand yeah so don't give him no liberty you know don't give him no liberty to be disrespectful to be um rude you know let me read back again um ecclesiastical chapter 30 verse 11 give him no liberty in his youth 
and wink not at his folly don't wink at his folly you know chasten him correct him right bow down his neck while he is young and beat him on the side beat him on the side while he is young right while he is he said while while he is a child lest he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto thee right and so bring sorrow to thine heart so yeah so yeah chasten him while he's young before he be disobedient and this is a disobedient child he wax stubborn chasten thy thy son and hold him to labor lest his lewd behavior be an offense unto thee and this this behavior is an offense unto this that his father this young man father his lewd behavior is a, is, a, is, is an offense right so let me see if i can run this video you know to the acumens you know you can see right father telling the right thing right your father friend say yo your father telling the right thing your father telling the right thing they're rebuking him you know but this is a stubborn and disobedient child you know and if and the father if father hate him because if your father love him with a chest name from a, from his young from his from his from, from from a child coming up right but our lord yahweh shy who the will come back to put this thing and put this thing in place back, back in the rightful order right because this is what going on in our in our in our in our houses in our homes our community right our people our people totally out of order right totally totally out of order right um this is uh let me get a say in um right our people totally out of order right um this is luke 12 and uh 50 um luke 12 and 52 for he said for for from hence forth there shall be five in one house divided three again says what goes in family day right the father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother and the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law and this is what going on this is what going on in our in our community today in our houses today among our family which is you soca negroes latins and native american indian right so yahweh shai our lord and savior who who the world going to call jesus coming back to put this thing in 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 in, in his rightful order right matthew chapter 10 verse 35 for i am come to set a man at variance against his father and against and against and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law a man's foe shall be they of his own household right so you know these 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 last touching come out and put you put you put you israelites back in check and the ones who refuse to turn back to yahweh bashim yahweh shai you are going to be destroyed yahweh bashim yahweh going to destroy y'all right it's not this not the way a young man supposed to be being disrespectful to his father this is how our father this is how our father should raise his son to be disrespectful he's supposed to correct his son while he's young while there is hope right spare it spare, spare him not right you understand and with that comes the fire and i want to give our praises and honor and glory to yahweh bahashem 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 bahashem
and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the Fork and the Yard to push in this gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.